I'm back with another video, a quick video for you guys from my plant community and my plant supporters and lovers out there. Today I'll be doing a plant unboxing. I am super excited because I ordered uh, some plant cuttings online that I really wanted. And um, shh, don't tell my fiance. Don't tell him. Okay? Don't tell him. But, um, yeah, so I ordered some plants, and this is from, and just to let you know, this video is not sponsored, or uh, I purchased this, this, these, these cuttings on my own accord, my own money. It's not sponsored. I just wanted to do an unboxing for you. For those of you who are curious to know what it's like to order uh, live plants or cutting plant cuttings um, offline, okay? So this is from the plant farm. I've ordered from them both before they always provide good service and great plants so uh they're on etsy i'll make sure i'll leave their information in the description box below so um when i get i get the box this is the box right here it comes like this yes 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 and it says this right here plant farm uh live plants handmade with love okay so let's go ahead and open it aren't you guys excited all right so Opening up the box, taking the scissors, they make sure this box is sealed, honey. Okay. Oh, I can't open it. It's a little hard. Okay. All right. So like this, open it like this, then it comes like this, okay? Comes with the cuttings in the in a plastic bag, and it comes with the invoice, and I get 10% off. Wait, 10% off? Does that mean another plant? 10% <laughs> off when you spend $5. All right, cool, thank you. So this is the plants, this is how they come like this in this bag. And this plant, these are the pepper, pepperomia, pepper, pre, preparomia, pe, pe, pepperomia, pepperomia, and um, orbata or something, pepperomia, lime something. I don't know. And I'll leave the name of the plant in the description box below. It's such a beautiful plant. So these are plant cuttings. And the difference between the actual plant and plant cuttings is that plant cuttings, they're cuttings from a plant. Y'all didn't know that? It's like, no, I had, I had to take some time to learn that myself. Woo! Went past your head. All right, um, so yeah, these are plant cuttings. So, you know, you open it right here. What I like to do, it, they give you like a moist cloth, um, you know, so the plants can have a little bit of moist and it's a humid environment for them to survive. Because um, I think they came all the way from Washington, Spok Spokane. Washington, Seattle, over there on that side of town. Um, so yes, the plants came in great condition. And they always give you more cuttings than what you ask for, which is really sweet of them. And this is how they look. Super cute. I gotta fix this camera because sometimes I don't know why it does that. Like it doesn't, you know, really show it clearly. I think you can see it now. Um, so, yeah. So I got a few more. I got a few of these, okay? So what's going to happen now is I'm going to go ahead and um, repot these with you guys. Aren't you excited? Yeah, so um, I'm going to repot these with you guys today. Um, usually sometimes there are two ways you can um, grow these plants. Is if you use rooting, rooting, what's it called? This, rooting hormone. I use this. Or you, or you can uh, do the water method where you place the cuttings in water and wait till the roots come out and then repot it. But today we're going to do the, the rooting hormone. Uh, that is what the plant, um, the plant people suggested that I do with this plant. So let's see how that goes, guys. I'm so excited because this is such a pretty plant. But the only things I don't like about pepperomia, pepperomia plants or pepper. Pe Pop, pop, pop. You know what I'm talking about. Some of them grow these little long little vines, these these flowering things, and they are just hideous, honey. They I have to cut those, and that's how I got rid of my last pepperomia. Y'all know the watermelon plant? Look up Google the watermelon pepperomia plant or the watermelon plant. It looks kind of it's a it looks like a pilea pilea plant, 
but it looks like a little watermelons, right? And it grows these long vines, which is hideous, like these antlers. And when I first got that, I was not expecting that, honey. And that thing scared the living daylights out of me, honey. I had to get rid of that plant because it scared me. I was not prepared for that. I looked over one day at to water my plant and this joint had antlers in it. Like, I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh, nope. No. Scared me. So, at least with this one, I know these grow some antlers, um, I think. But, um, I'm prepared now and I'm going to cut them if they grow. I'm going to chop your behind off if you grow. Alright, so let's get started. So, what I like, what you usually, when you have plant cuttings like these, you want to make sure you, um, pop them in a small pot. Okay, so I have a reuse, a used pot that an old pot that I have for my ivy plant. Um, of course, you gotta clean it out, sanitize it. But this is like a four inch pot. Okay, so I usually you, when you get cuttings like that, you usually want to repot them in a four inch pot. Okay, and real quick, the benefit I really like about cuttings is that um, you can you can see your plant grow from scratch pretty much. You can see it grow from the beginning, which I really love. And also, you know, you don't have to really repot the whole thing with the soil. You don't have to worry about bugs in the plant. If you really don't like that type of thing, I had to learn the hard way. But um, you know what you're pretty much getting, you know what I mean? Because let me tell y'all something real quick. Side note, from some vendor, I ordered a um, plant uh, uh, a plant off one of them vendors, right? Not on Etsy, not, on, not the vendors that I recommended, or not this vendor. But I ordered um, some plants, right? And I had asked the guy, because it was like a special soil that I don't really use. I think cactus and some other soil, I was not going to go and buy a $10 bag for that. So I was like, can you send me just some extra soil in case, you know, when I repot it? And he was so nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, I was like, okay, so then today I was getting out my soil, you know, my soil so I can repot, plant, pot these plants out, right? Honey, child, boo boo mama was not ready. I looked at the old bag the guy gave me and I was like, hmm, maybe I could use this because this is really good drainage soil. Looked in a plastic bag, honey, thank God I ain't open. I saw something moving, squirming in there. I was like, ah! right away honey I was like why you set me up like that that's why you don't that's what I'm telling y'all look I'm telling y'all y'all order plants on, online it's fine okay just make sure uh, you repot your plants right away with fresh soil of your own that you buy okay I don't know how many times I gotta tell y'all this I didn't say this like two or three times you repot those plants you don't know what soil they using, honey. That's forest soil from Central America or uh, or the Desert Valley somewhere over there. I don't know what's in that soil. They don't care. <laughs> but um, to be honest, this this vendor here, Plant Farms, I've never had any issues with them. Thank God, knock on wood. Never had any issues with them. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, okay? All right, so what I like to do is... Um, I like to, since I'm on camera, I'm not going to go all the way to the kitchen sink with y'all. So I'm going to bring, I got a cup of water here and I'll just, I like to just kind of dip, um, dip the plant and, you know, wet it, rinse it off. You know, basically just rinse it off. So I'm dipping it in some water so it can kind of wake up or whatever. You know, like, you know, it's like when you wake up in the morning, you drink that coffee, wake them up. You know, because they had a long trip. So I'm just dipping them, you know. Just the same thing as 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 uh, rinsing them off. You know what I mean? Just rinsing them off. That's all I'm doing. I'm gonna stick the rest in here. Okay. All right. So they're in there. Just kind of rinsing them off a little bit. All right. There we go. Then I'm gonna put them on this paper towel. We're gonna pop these babies. All right. So they are so fresh and so clean, clean. Alright, so like I said, I have a four inch pot. With cuttings, I like to do a four inch pot, okay? Um, small cuttings like I just showed you, I like to do a four inch pot, okay? Um, this is a reused four inch pot. For a lot of those, my planter friends and those who love plants, you know about reusing pots. You don't throw old pots away. If you have a pot that is ready to be uh, transitioned to the next pot, the next size, Keep the old pot. You're going to always need these pots. Just make sure you sanitize it with bleach or alcohol, whatever the case may be, okay? All right, so now I have some fresh soy on here with the white balls. And for those of you who don't know the white balls, that's perlite. Um, it helps to drain quicker, um, you know, because you don't want very heavy soil and not the draining the water to be stuck at the bottom. You want it to come out 
nicely, you know. So um, the perlite helps the soil to drain more when you water your uh, plants, okay? So I'm just going to stick some in here. And this is how I do it. Everybody got a different method, honey. But like I said, this is how they do it, honey. Uh -huh. This is how I do it. So um, it works for me. This is my method. It works for me, okay? Everybody might be like, you can't do that. No, this works for me, okay? All right. Thank you, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Pour that in here. I didn't want to do it on camera because I didn't want to make like a big mess. Oopsie, made a mess already. It's okay though. All right. So we have it like this. Dang it, I got to wipe all that up now. Only thing with plants, I love plants and repotting and all that stuff, but this soil will be getting everywhere. Um, but yes, this is how the soil looks now. It's all the way at the top. The soil is very loose and airy. That's how I like it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take some of this rooting hormone. Okay, can you see it? Rooting hormone. It is a white powder, okay? So what I like to do, dip a little bit up in here. Okay. Like this. Like so. And then I'm going to take these cuttings in here. Okay, so... Usually these I like these this is a different type of cutting for me. I'm used to doing the pothos where it has a little bit more of a stem, but we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to um dip this in the rooting hormone. The ends. Okay, so it should look something like this. Can you see? Okay. All right. And then I just stick it right in the flower pot. Okay, like that. Okay. Since these are very short cuttings, I'm not going to stick it all the way in the pot, like all the way in the soil, okay? So we're going to do another one. Like that, okay? And I and what I learned about rooting hormone, it's new to me. Um, it just helps to stimulate this the the stem more for the roots to come out more. You know what I mean? It's kind of like if I had to compare some to something, maybe like steroids or vitamins and stuff like that. Hormones, basically, exactly. Okay, so we got this. So we're gonna go ahead and stick it in here. And they're going in here nicely. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I am beautiful. No matter what they say. Words can bring me down. No. I wish I could sing like Christina Malona. Christina Malona. No, wait. Christina Aguilera. What is wrong? I swear to God. I swear. Every time I get on here, I act stupid. I just, I'm silly. Okay, so look, guys. It's coming along together. Okay, so we got three more. Okay, let's speed this up because y'all probably bored by now. Like, okay, um, hurry up. Like, hurry up. Like, so... So I'm just dipping it in here like this, okay? And you don't want to dip your plants directly into this because that kind of um, causes bacteria or, you know, just messes it up. You don't want to do that. Um, it's a word I'm looking for. I can't think of. But you don't want to do that, okay, honey? Okay. All right. Two more. And also, that's why I also like to wet the plant before so the... So the um the rooting hormone can directly just stick right onto the flower. Okay. And this this flower, this plant is so pretty. Look at that so far. And I love that this company because they always give you the right amount um 
the right amount of cuttings to give you a nice full plot pot so that's why when you get cuttings in the mail you want to put them in a nice size pot like this so it can grow full and pretty if you put it in a big huge pot it's, it's not it's gonna look dumb okay so where i'm gonna put this one at it's already full so let's see and i'll put this one in the middle all right so i think we're done here guys it's looking beautiful now all i need to do is get a beautiful cute pot to put this in um these babies are gonna take off in no time um i will make sure i do a maybe a three month review because sometimes um you know the rooting hormone method takes a little bit longer from what i've noticed um versus you know um doing it in water but let's see how this go. I don't know. This might this might go fast, but I think this might take like three weeks, a month or so to do it. Like y'all. So I don't know. But it looks so cute. I'm so excited. All right, guys. Well, that was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. This was different from y'all. For ugh. this was different for you. Um, you know, did something more of a fun activity and stuff like that. Super excited. Stay tuned for my next video. Um, it's coming soon to show you the rest of my plants. Um, I cannot wait because they're so cute. The first video was the Hoya collection. If you haven't watched that, I'll leave the link in the description box for that as well. Um, and I think that's it, guys. All right. Thank you so much for your support. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know. And again, this method works for me. I've done it, been successful with it. Everybody has different methods of how they do it, okay? So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Let us just know, and I'll see you guys next time.